I thought I'd take a second and show off my latest electronics hack. Um, I have been using airport expresses in my house for a while to uh, stream music from my iPhone and from my computer to um, the stereos that I have throughout the house and it works great. Uh, the sound quality is excellent and usually it stays connected pretty well. Um, so I wanted to take that technology and move it out to the car so that I could stream music from my iPhone to my car stereo without having to plug in any wires. Um, it took some work. It, was, uh, it wasn't easy. At first I had it plugged in with a uh, power inverter because the Airport Express is made to run off of AC power and uh, that just created noise on the uh, audio line. There was constant buzzing and I, I might be able to get it to go away for a few seconds or for a few minutes but then it would come back. Um, and then I also had some issues with keeping the Airport Express powered up because it takes about 90 seconds to boot up and that's time spent sitting here in my car with the engine running waiting for the wireless network to become available so that I could stream to it. So uh, I had to figure out how to work around that as well. Uh, anyway, what I decided to do was put the Airport Express here in the glove compartment and that's it there and as you can see it's been modified uh, so that it no longer runs off of the AC power that you have in your house. It now runs off of a simple USB plug and that USB plug will work with uh, house power you know you could plug this in with just like a, an iPhone charger um, or one of these little um, cigarette light adapter USB plugs so that will work either way and I have this cigarette light adapter running straight back to the battery so the positive terminal the black wires hooked directly up to the uh, positive terminal on the battery and the white wires just hooked up to a ground in the car and that runs back to the trunk where the battery is. Uh, the Airport Express was modified using um, a small piece of I don't know what it's called print board or circuit board uh, actually from a DVD drive that I wasn't using anymore because you need a 5 volt um, a power source and a 3.3 volt power source to run the Airport Express and the USB uh, adapter only provides the 5 volts so I needed to step down to 3.3 volts and that's what you're seeing there is the plug from the uh, uh, from the actual uh, DVD drive. Then uh, the black plug you see there is the audio cable which just runs behind the scenes here and into the auxiliary input on the car stereo. So I'm using my factory car stereo. Uh, you could use any aftermarket car stereo, anything with an auxiliary input. And most of these wires just tuck back behind here so you don't really see them. That's the uh, audio cable and that black and red cable there is the power cable. And all that just tucks right away into the glove compartment. So the way this works is, um, obviously, since the Airport Express is hooked up directly to the battery, it's on all the time, which means that it's constantly draining power from the battery. Uh, the reason I don't think it's a concern is because the Airport Express only uses about 2 to 5 watts from what I've read online uh, at any given point in time. So it doesn't create a huge drain on the battery. Based on the amp hours of my battery, uh, it should run for seven days on a fully charged battery without needing any assistance from the alternator to recharge the battery. I think I said that right. So, uh, in other words, as long as I drive my car once every seven days, I shouldn't have a problem keeping the battery charged. And I drive my car pretty much every day. So, so far I've had it installed and running for about two days and I haven't had any problems uh, with the car, with, you know, finding the car battery dead or anything like that. So the way this works is uh, right now I can actually go ahead without having the car running. You can see that the keys are not in the ignition. Uh, I can pull up my iPhone here, see if I can get it to focus. It's not focusing very well, but uh, go into settings. 
and you'll see my wireless networks available here my home network and my Volvo S60 network so I can connect to the Volvo S60 network and I've modified the software not really modified but uh, uh, programmed the Airport Express so that I can stream music to it but my phone will stay connected to 3G so that I can stream music from say Spotify or Slacker or Pandora. Uh, I don't have to, if I, if I had the Airport Express programmed so that it was providing Wi-Fi service to the phone then I wouldn't be able to stream music. I would only be able to uh, stream music from my iPod music that's actually stored on my phone and I don't have any music stored on my phone. I do everything over Spotify and Slacker and Pandora so I that wouldn't have worked. I can if anyone has any questions about how to do that I can provide more information on um, in the description of the video but so I have connected to the Volvo S60 network and I'm going to launch Spotify here and I'm gonna go to my playlists here's my music that I have available uh, so I'm just gonna pick a song and it'll start playing through the iPhone first and you see the AirPlay logo here so I can click that and choose to stream music to the Volvo S60 and I can do all that without even having the car powered on so I can do this as I'm approaching the car or as I sit down it's always up it's ready to go um, don't have to wait to connect you know don't have to wait to start the car to connect there's no sound though because the car isn't on so if I turn the car on there's a little bit of distortion when the car first starts but now it's up and running and it sounds great and on here I can turn the volume up or down, pause the music, go to the next song, all without any wires connected. So that's cool for everyday use. Uh, it also would be great to use like at a tailgate. Um, you know, I could walk around the car uh, without having to have any wires connected, uh, stream the music right to my car stereo. So, pretty cool little system. Thanks for watching.